Okay, guys, let's talk about invoicing. There is two kind of main ways to get to the place where you create a new invoice. So if you're looking at invoices or if you're looking at your customers, so on the left-hand panel here, you'll see sales and then customers. It may say something different than customers depending on your settings. It may say clients, donors. Um, but if you go here and you're looking at your list of customers, clients, donors, whatever it is, you'll see the link to the right here to create a new invoice or probably in a more straightforward way to get there in the top left in this in this plus new. If you click on that and then under say customers again, clients, whatever it is, you'll see invoice right here. So it's basically new invoice. You can click on that. And that's where you get to a place where you're starting to create your invoice for your customer. Keep in mind, this is different than a sales receipt. So a sales receipt is if the sale is being recorded basically right then and there, that's what a sales receipt would be. An invoice is if you're sending it to your customer, whether you're emailing it to them or printing it to them, and the payment is due in a future time. So whether that's in 30 days, in a week, whatever it is, for services that's been uh, rendered or products sold. So let's go back into the invoice here. So we'll kind of walk through really quickly the steps here once we're creating the invoice. So the first thing will be to choose your customer, client, donor. So if you have one already created in here before, so you can either start typing and find that customer, client, whatever it is, or you can hit the down arrow and then scroll through and find them. Or if you want to create a new one in the top here, after you hit this down arrow, you'll see this add new. And then you can quickly either just create the name or if you need to add more details, especially if you're gonna be emailing them or printing it, so you need to put in maybe an address or an email, whatever it is, you can hit this plus details right here. And that's where it'll bring up the screen to add more details for this customer while you're adding them, while you're adding them in with the invoice. For now, let's just choose the customer. One thing to keep in mind too, if you have any sort of activity associated with this, any sort of unbilled activity, it'll pop up right here in the right asking you if you want to add it to this invoice and that's where you can easily just add that unbilled activity to your invoice i'm just searching through here and there, none of them really popping up but that's where you would do that it would pop up right here if you have some sort of unbilled time or or an unbilled product whatever it is and, uh, and then then you can just add it straight to the invoice by clicking add there Again, if they have the email associated already, it pops up here. If not, you can manually add it here you can, or you can change it. Clicking this send later box right here. So if you create your invoices as you go and then send batch basically invoices, let's say all at the end of the end of the week, end of the month, whatever it is, rather than sending them basically as you go. If you click this send later here, then what you can do is you can kind of run this little report screen here. So if you go to sales and then all sales, you can filter right here and then the delivery method you can either you can hit the send later for emailing it or if you're printing them and then actually mailing them you, this is where you'd hit print later and then you can apply the send later and then all the invoices that haven't been sent yet that you check this inbox or this box for they'll show up here so then you can you can you know choose them all and then print them all or send them all all at once so that's something that is, would be useful for your business. This is where you would choose that right here as a send later. The billing address, um, this is where you can choose or change that, especially if they're going to be paying, if you have QuickBooks payment set up and they're going to be paying um, online. Or if you're shipping, again, if you're shipping uh, the invoice to them, so you, can, you can put the address here. The terms, that's basically when it's due. So if you're, if you're invoicing them for today, and it's due at the end of the month and it's 30 days, you know, you can do net 30 or you can kind of customize if you have a specific one. So if you make your invoices due in two weeks, 45 days or anything like that. You, this is where you can add new terms here or you can make it due on receipt as soon as they re receive it, it's due um, again or net 30. So, and this is the date that the invoice is dated for. So this could be when the services are actually rendered. So we're gonna make it for this for the first of the month net 30, so it's gonna be due at the end of the month. Tags is a new feature, QuickBooks release. This is where you can add tags here if, you, if, you're, if you're managing tags and doing that. The product and service, um, if you have these set up, which you should, this is where you can choose them here. So again, you can 
you can um, hit the down arrow here and then choose one and then or if you need to add one you can hit add new right here and you can, this is where you can add new product or services but let's say we're going to do an hour you can add a description here and then the customer can see this if you have that setting um, so you can basically if you have some sort of explanation line by line product or service at a, at a time and you want the customer to know more details as to what that is this is where you can include that here you can change the uh, the quantities pretty self-explanatory the rate if you have it set up when you're doing your products and services sometimes you can make it so the rate shows up automatically um, or you can just manually do it typing in hit tab and then this will be the total amount so let's say the rates 50 and we sold two of them this is where you'll see the total right here under the amount of hundred dollars this is where you can choose if it's taxable or untaxable Again, whenever you're setting up these products and services, you'll have the option to choose whether it usually is. So some of them will have this checked or not. But if you need to change it on an invoice by invoice basis, then you can do that right here. You can go down, let's do another one. So we have this, so it automatically brings up the description for weekly gardening, but it doesn't have a rate. Make that $100. And this one is non-taxable. So you'll see the taxable total of $100, the total um, amount due of $200 before tax. You can add here a message on your invoice on the statement if you're including an actual statement for what they owe you. And then if you want to add any attachments, so if you had some sort of maybe contract or agreement, anything like that, you can add the attachments here as a PDF. Then you can choose if you have set up different tax rates for these, you can choose that here. If you want to add a, per, a discount, whether that's a value or a percentage, you can easily do that here. And this is all going to be dependent on some settings we talked about before. So if you go into your accountant settings here, and then you'll see the sales right here. This is where you can go through in the settings to see. So this is basically what's showing up sales form content. This is where you're choosing what is sh uh, showing up or not showing up as options whenever you're going through and creating these invoices. So I think we have, yeah, discounts turned on. If you don't ever give discounts and you don't want this populating on your screen, you can turn it off right here if that's desired. Um, if you do outside deposits with a different POS sort of system, then you can turn that on here. Same with tips. So if by default there's some different settings that you don't use that you want to turn off or if there's something that you think you want to use but it's not showing up as an option this is probably where you're going to want to look is in your settings here as to uh, how to turn them on and off and then here so a few options here in the in the bottom panel here once you got everything created in your invoice as you like so printer preview pretty self-explanatory but right here this check right here where it says print later whenever we were looking at before in our sales screen and we were looking at the send later filter if you're physically printing them and you want to run it by print later and print them all in, you know in batch like that this right here under print and preview this is where you would check that box for print later make recurring so if you again self-explanatory if you want to make it a recurring transaction that's where you would choose that box there we're not going to do that for today so customize this is where you choose the template that you want to use so the template isn't even just what, what it, the invoice looks like it's the message that's sent if you're emailing it um, what the PDF looks like if you're printing it out we go over that in another video but just really briefly where that is so in the all this or the few ways to get there it's also in the company settings but You'll see the custom form styles. And that is where you actually customize the look of the invoices. So again, what it looks like, the colors, the logo, also the content itself, like I said, so the, in the emails, so when you actually send it, what's the message that it shows? Is, this, is there a statement attached to it? Um, What's it look like? Is the bill to on there? Is there a crew number on there? Do you put the date and the terms on there? Um, so you can customize a lot the look and feel of the the email and, and the in the invoice. But whenever you save this template, you you name it a certain thing, whatever you want. 
And then right here under customize, this is where you choose. So it defaults to standard, but if you created a custom template, you want to make sure that you hit this customize here and choose the correct template. Or if you want to edit it and create it with this invoice, you can hit edit current current or new style. And that's where you can kind of do some more customizations before you, before you send it. So you can either just save it um, to kind of save as you go, or you can hit this down arrow here. So if you, again, if you want to send it later, then you, you want to hit this down arrow here definitely and hit save and close. So it just closes it out. You don't want to hit save and send because then it'll, it'll send it. But if you do want to send it and you're doing that, then that's where you would hit that save and send right there. Once it saves, it's saved and closed again, if you go in all sales or invoices from the left-hand panel here, that's where you can find that invoice again. And then whenever you're ready to actually send it, if you haven't done that already, this is where you can do that on this screen right here. You can hit send, or if you send it, and then whenever you actually get uh, payment, again, you can go to the same screen here, and this is where you can actually receive the payment off of that.